Today we visit the town of Zionsville, Indiana, ranked the third best place to live in the state of Indiana. People who live in Zionsville think the world of it. Those on the outside, they're not quite so sure. They call it quaint or cool, and they, after they talk about it a bit, they come up with, well, it's a really neat, sophisticated small town. Hi, I'm Bob with Top Choice Real Estate and the Living in Indiana team, bringing you the word on the street, talking Indiana real estate. Let's do a deep dive and take a look at what the pros and cons of living in Zionsville, Indiana are. Like I always do, let's start with the cons. I always like to get the bad news out of the way first. Number one con has to be the cost of living. Housing is expensive in Zionsville. There's just no way around it. According to Zillow, the median home value in Zionsville is more than twice the national average and much more than even uh, neighboring Carmel, which is much more famous and highly touted for being an expensive place to live. And that median home value puts it out of reach for many people. The number two con, some people would say there's a lack of diversity. Yes, it's 88% white, 5% Asian, and 3% each black and Hispanic. The town square does not resemble Times Square in any way, shape, or form. Number three, there are limited shops and restaurants. Yes, Zionsville has its quaint boutiques and little restaurants in its downtown, cozy little quaint area. And those are even favored by many people who drive 30 or 40 minutes to check them out on Saturday night. But you'll find that the locals, they venture to Indianapolis or Carmel for shopping and dining variety. Number four, there's a limited number of jobs. It's a small town and it's a bedroom community. More jobs are found uh, in Carmel or the north side of Indy along the uh, I-465 Beltway, or even downtown, which is a straight shot down I-65. So if you're considering moving here, you're gonna wanna pick up our relocation guide. It's free and there's no obligation. My staff and I have prepared the ultimate relocation guide and you can get your copy below. Okay, let's flip things around. Let's look at the brighter side. Let's talk about the pros of living in Zionsville. Hey, after all, Zionsville was ranked the third best place to live in the entire state. And it's even been ranked as high as number two in recent years. The number one pro has to be its small town charm with its close by amenities. It starts with those brick paved streets in the small old town slash downtown community. Yes, it's small. There's 30 some thousand residents. So it's big enough to be its own boss, but not so big you'll confuse it with any big city. There's no crime. It was ranked the number one safest city in the state by SafeWise this year. There's no dirt, there's no homeless situation, and hey, you can't get in a traffic jam that lasts more than one or two blocks. And bottom line, it's clean, clean, clean. The number two pro, it has easy access to all kinds of amenities. It's just 18 miles down I-65 to uh, downtown Indianapolis where you can go to an NFL game, an NBA, WNBA, elite uh, 11 soccer, um, museums, music, theaters, the symphony, or restaurants. Or hey, it's 10 minutes down the road to more jobs and shops and resting on the northwest side of Indianapolis and not much more to get over to Carmel for more of the same. The number three pro is the schools. This is one of the things that Zionsville is best known for. The schools are rated A plus by niche.com and the public school system is ranked number three in the state out of 290. I mean, that puts it in the top 1%. That's just crazy good. Teachers just love it. It's ranked the number one best place to work for teachers. There's 8,000 students that attend six elementary schools, two middle schools, and one high school. And get this, the high school has only 2,255 students. That's less than half of Carmel's 5,000 plus. It has a 98.4% graduation rate, and it has the Zionsville Education Foundation, which offers support for the public school system. Over the years, they've given $1.5 million in grants to make it better. The number four pro is the parks and rec. Heck, the geography and topography of the local area got in the way of large scale development, but that adds to the natural beauty and charm. And that includes an over 700 acre park system. The small town of Zionsville offers home buyers a great option to the fast pace and much larger scale of Indianapolis. Be sure to check it out. You just might fall in love with it. Hey, make it a great day now. Hey, if you'd like to know everything there is to know about moving to or living in the greater Indianapolis area, then be sure to tune in every Tuesday as we do our tour of new construction homes for sale. Then on Thursday, we walk through existing homes for sale. And then on the weekend, 
we take a look at what it's like to actually live in Indiana. Now keep in mind, whether you're buying or selling, I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now. If you found this helpful, you'll love this next video. Watch this one right now.